In today's video, Vanessa and I are taking the subway to Wall Street. And we're going to take you to see the famous bull and give you some interesting historical facts about Wall Street and the New York Stock Exchange. Then we head to Greenwich Village where we taste a piece of New York history at John's Pizzeria on Blicker Street. This pizzeria has been family owned since 1929. And watch as we have this plate of meatballs and a New York pizza for the first time in our lives. And if seafood is your thing, we've got you covered. In the second half of our video, we make our way to the Chelsea Market and Vanessa is going to have some fresh oysters from all over the country we want to thank you for watching now let's head over to wall street all right travelers we are now making our way to wall street's famous bull so we're on broadway approaching wall street but just take a look at all the architecture around here the buildings yeah like this is the new york i think of holy shit look at the line to take a picture of the bull so we're not going to stop and take a picture with this bull because there's a long line. But we're going to walk by, we're going to show you guys the line, and we'll show you the bull too. They're playing with the testes. The bull's boss. <laughs> Famous Wall Street bull. Feeling bullish. There you guys see the bull behind me. There's the Cipriani building right there. The architecture here in this part of New York is unbelievable. Look at this building right here, 26 Broadway. And just check out the architecture. It's, like when you think New York and you think Manhattan, this has to be what comes to mind because this is what comes to mind for me. Absolutely beautiful place, friendly people. And oh, fun fact, Wall Street, the reason it got its name is because Today, it's the nation's financial center, but originally Wall Street was named after just that, a 17th century wall built to keep the New Amsterdam settlers protected from the British colonists. And the Dutch were financial people, while the English were ready to do some battle. Well, the Dutch, in all their infinite wisdom and battle strategies, decided to build a wall. They built the wall on this street, to protect themselves from the English, therefore giving it the name Wall Street. What do you think of that? And the reason all the financial transactions are done here on Wall Street? Freelance auctioneers began to deal in securities and speculations. A more conservative group of financiers who didn't approve of these speculators started meeting in the shade of the Buttonwood Tree at 68 Wall Street to discuss their affairs. This group, known as the Buttonwood Association, would later become New York's Stock Exchange. We're going to get something to eat, so let's go get on the subway and find ourselves some good New York pizza. I think we're going for a slice. Is that what we're doing, baby? Yes. We are going for a slice of New York pizza, guys. So stay with us and let's uh, get on the subway. your Apple Pay, then you just get right on, and you're headed uptown. Let's go. Over here. We're leaving the subway station right now and headed up. Wish us luck, you guys. Take a look. And this is where we end up. Which way do we go, my love? Check out this neighborhood, guys. Yeah, it's got that charm. Look at this building, this corner building right here. How cool is that? Just what? Right. We are in the West Village, and what a cool little place this is here. It's just got charm. Look around. We've got brick buildings, a lot of restaurants, wide streets, no horns. I like it. We're headed to John's Pizza, and it's here on Blecker Street in the West Village. Oh, there it is, John's Pizzeria, 278, guys. Let's head there right now. Hopefully it's an A+. Plus. I think it will be. Let's see. Pick hey, two? two? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Go ahead, love. Go ahead, John. I'm first and right down the right-hand side. All right. Thank you. Check it out, guys. Thanks. Look at this. 
Look at the charm in here. That's pretty cool, huh? Take a look at the menu. I cannot wait to try a New York slice. What about you, love? Me too. Actually, I'm trying to see, maybe they don't have slices here. Well, multiple slices. <laughs> Our food has arrived. Take a look at this plate of meatballs with melted mozzarella on top. You excited, love? So you guys know what's in the pizza. We're gonna try it out. Let's see how it goes. Fresh out of the oven. We literally ordered about 10 minutes ago. We gotta make it on demand. Comes out hot, fresh. This is my first time ever having a New York slice of pizza. I couldn't be more excited. What about you, baby? Yeah. Vanessa's starving. You go first. Yeah. Let's see what she thinks of her first New York slice of pizza. Got a lot of toppings on here. Mmm. Mmm, so fresh. The marinara sauce, you can taste the herbs. There's just a lot of flavors going on. I'm gonna try this, guys. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Char marks. It is really good. Each flavor pops and combine, they're delicious. Let's try a meatball right now. Let's put some peppers on our meatballs here. They give you some toast here. I'm gonna put a little bit of the meatball on the bread with some cheese. Dip it in this sauce here. Oh, look at that, you guys. Look at this cheese. Mozzarella. Let's give this a shot. I'm just going one bite, one big bite. Mmm. You guys, there's nothing better than a fresh homemade meatball. It's just so full of flavor. Mm -hmm. The cheese is good. We got a lot to work on. We're gonna finish our meal here. Please watch uh, till the end. Like, comment, and subscribe. We demolished that pizza. We got two slices left. We're actually gonna take those with us. Get our check here. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how much that costs. Take a guess right now what you think that costs. One medium six slice pizza and a plate of meatballs. I didn't see the price. I don't know what the price is. Vanessa knows, so she can't guess. I didn't see the prices. I think. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I don't have my glasses on either, so I still can't see. But what does it say? It says sixty-seven. Sixty-seven dollars, guys, for that meal right there, which was well worth it. Now we're gonna head out. John's Pizzeria. Come check them out. Delicious pizza and uh, fair prices. Great neighborhood. Take a look around at the neighborhood here. Just awesome. And now we're gonna make our way over to a place called the Chelsea Market. This is a cool little neighborhood. Wow. This is awesome, huh? Just like a lot of charm. Up there. We have made it to the 14th Street exit for the subway station. I guess we'll go that way, baby. All right. Let's make our way out of this place. Okay. All right. What is the Chelsea Market, baby? Uh, there's just a whole bunch of different foods and shops, and uh, there's another area that's like arts and crafty. So we're just gonna check it out and just see what happens. in this beautiful neighborhood. Take a look around at just the architecture. You got old brick buildings on this side and then you got these modern buildings right here with the glass and uh, next to another brick building. It's really awesome. An old funk jazz band here. Look at this, I don't know if you've ever seen 
a Starbucks reserve roastery? I haven't, but there's one right here, right outside the Chelsea Market. I if, have two cups of coffee. We'd be going in there just for fun. But yeah. But maybe on the way out, we'll see if Vanessa wants one. But for now, let's head into the Chelsea Market. Look, guys, there's a Google building right across the street. Yeah. Go ahead. So as you see guys, this is a market full of just shops and foods from all over the world. Watch, we'll walk you through this little food court here. Here's a chocolate place. Lilac chocolate. Very fresh noodles, guys. Take a look here. Jim Betts Cafe. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Rated number one pastry in the world. That's a croissant. Vegan ice cream. Check it out. We got a pizza shop. Look at this, guys. These are all vegan. Vegan kicks pistachio, I bet you that's good. Tart cherry, mmm. Let's keep moving. Authentic Indian street food. Chote Maya. Green Lion American classics. Burgers, waffles. Here's another Italian restaurant. Here's everything they have in here, guys. Oh, it's okay, go ahead. <laughs> Oysters, I wonder if they get them local. I'm gonna take you through this oyster dining area. It's called Lobster Place Seafood Hall. It looks like a ton of oysters. Let's go take a look. You wanna try one? All right, looks like Vanessa's gonna try one. Dang, man, look at all this. See that? All right. Tell them what we're doing, baby. We are having oysters. And this is so cool because I think Tony just showed you. If not, we'll cut it in here. But this place uh, does all the shucking, and you can sit at the bar, at literally the oyster bar, and order from here. And it looks like they have a variety of different types of oysters. Actually, it looks like kind of everywhere in the U.S. We heard today that oysters are a big thing um, that's harvested here in New York, so maybe we'll try a New York oyster. We'll go through and order, and we'll come back and show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna go with your recommendation of an airplane and was it Fisher's Island that you said, right? Fisher's Island, yeah. Perfect. And then um, the Pickering Pass and then the... Did you want anything to drink? Uh, just a glass of water. A glass of water, tap water, okay? Yeah, that's fine. It's gonna be 22 or 86 in your opinion. Do you do apple cake? We do, yes. All right, so there you guys see Vanessa ordered six oysters, even though we just ate. She's gonna get six of them down. They're small, and uh, we're paying for them. I'll be right back with some water. All right, thank you. thank you. This is super awesome. You just you grab a card, fill it out, you come around, you order, you pay. There you guys see how they shuck the oyster. Let's pick up the order here. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. All right, have a good day. You see, we got Vanessa's oysters. Check these out. Oysters on the half shell. All right, so this is kind of cool because they give you this vinegar. It has muscatel vinegar, shallots, tarragon, and black pepper, so that will give it a nice little acidity. And then of course, you can't have an oyster without hot sauce. So, I think what we'll do is just do a little simple, and just do a squeeze of lemon, a little splash of hot sauce. Super good, super fresh. Mm. 
So good. I know some people get grossed out by oysters, but at least give it a shot. If you're into seafood, when the oysters are fresh, it's just like the ocean in your mouth. That's all I can say. It doesn't have a, a fishy smell to it whatsoever, especially when it's fresh like these. This was just shucked just a few feet away from us and what a great treat this is. So I'm gonna continue eating my oysters, but definitely come to the, the lobster place. It's so delicious, so cute, and it has a great vibe. So enjoy. We're done with oysters and continuing our walk through the Chelsea Market. Take a look at this. Just a really cool place. Look around. If you're ever in the West Village, make sure you come down to Chelsea Market. Spend a few hours here walking around. Look at this. I don't know if you can read this. It's a restaurant called Ayata. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Michelin stars. And they're a Thai restaurant located here. <laughs> Chelsea market well this really is stuff from all over the world that is going to end our little market hunt it wasn't really a market hunt just a market tour of the chelsea market we hope you liked it we loved it Vanessa got her oysters. We got to see stuff from all around the world. Highly encourage you to come. Vanessa's looking for a way for us to get back. We gotta get back on the subway. We're gonna go relax and we'll take you out to Times Square tonight.